blessed day to all of you. I am Christina M. Bautista, your English teacher from Manabo National High School. Make yourselves comfortable as I discuss to you our lesson for today. By the way, have you had your breakfast? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day and it will give you energy so you could understand well our lesson. So please, if you haven't had your breakfast, pause this video first and enjoy your meal. Now, let's take a look at these pictures. another challenging yet vital lesson in English 9. Be sure to have your module entitled Determining the Relevance and Truthfulness of Ideas, Quarter 3, Week 5. And of course, your paper and ball pen. Also, before we start, make sure to answer the pretest on page 6 of your module and check them with your answer keys. Nowadays, anybody can come across different ideas. And as viewers, it is important to determine the materials, relevance, and truthfulness because they can help you in one way or another. For instance, relevance can help you realize how useful all knowledge can be. The information you have watched and listened to can help you in your studies, future career, or daily lives. Meanwhile, truthfulness equips you to determine if the information presented is true and accurate. This now prevents the spread of fake news. Let us first focus on relevance. What is relevance? In Filipino, what is relevance? Let us ask Google. According to Google, relevance is kaugnayan. So ano ang kaugnayan ng iyong mga pinapanood o napapakinggan sa iyong buhay? What is the relevance of what you usually watch or listen to. Importante ba yon? Is there any importance to them? Relevance is a quality or state of being closely connected or appropriate. Some things relevance to a situation or person is its importance or significance in that situation or to that person. It also refers to learning experiences that are either directly applicable to the personal aspirations, interests, or cultural experiences of people. This is actually what we call personal relevance. Meanwhile, life relevance are connected in some way to real-world issues, problems, and Context. Let us first digest personal relevance. Let us take a look at these pictures and videos. And move it. We do this in a wheelbarrow so that everything stays nice and moist. If your teacher asks you to choose one video, what will you choose? Very good. Some of you will choose music video or gaming video or even a TikTok video. But there are some who would prefer news or even experiments. That form is what we call individual choice. The next form is what we call 
cultural connection. It is when we talk about certain historical topics or time periods through a cultural relevant connection. Students from different cultural backgrounds might watch videos from the standpoint of their racial, ancestral, or cultural heritage. So that is personal relevance. Remember, it has two forms, the individual choice and the cultural connection. Life relevance is generally intended to equip people with practical skills, knowledge, and dispositions that they can apply in various educational contexts or career. For example, after viewing a video on baking, a person might be able to bake. In another instance, physics might be less than fascinating to you. But there are people who want to be an engineer and for them, physics is very interesting. They learn it for their future. So that is relevance. I hope that you have a better idea what relevance is. We now go to truthfulness. Let us now watch a video about home care tips to treat a COVID-19 patient. Ina Agustin makes sure her household is prepared if and when a coronavirus infection strikes. On top of her list, medical supplies. She believes it's best to be prepared for a household of 10. Nag-develop ng fear. So ako, naghahanda lang ako. Siyempre, parang mga ants, di ba? Saving for the rainy day. Oximeter, um, yung pang-record ng BP, and also yung uh, pulse, for mm -hmm. pulse rate. Thermometer also. Experts say home care may be done for asymptomatic cases and those with mild to moderate symptoms without risk factors. Among the must-haves, a reliable caregiver and the patient's clinical evaluation. Dapat mild, meaning uh, nakakahinga ng maayos, nakaka-function for their daily activities, uh, nakakakain ng maayos. Kasi the whole point is this person should really be well enough to be taking care of himself or herself. Essentials for a COVID home care kit, PPEs. Gowns or jumpsuits are not required, just a face mask and face shield. Cleaning and disinfection supplies. Monitoring supplies to record the patient's vital signs. Medication for fever, cough, and maintenance drugs. The patient should have a separate room and bathroom with good airflow. The room door should always be closed. The patient's food and other needs should be handed over without contact with other family members. Ruth Cabal, CNN Philippines. After watching the video, how are you going to determine the truthfulness of the information given to you? First, develop a critical mindset. It is essential that you keep your emotional response to such stories in check. Instead, approach what you see and hear rationally and critically. You do this by determining the reason the story was created and identifying its purpose. Second, check the source. Check the web address of the page that you are viewing. Spelling errors in company names or strange sounding extensions like .infonet and .offer rather than .com or .co.uk may mean that the source cannot be trusted. Sources that are credible are, for example, websites registered by government and educational institutions. Third, see who else is reporting the story. Reports 
coming from professional global news agencies such as Reuters, CNN, and the BBC are considered reliable. These news agencies have rigorous editorial guidelines and extensive networks of highly trained reporters. Number four, examine the evidence. Evidence is to prove that the sources offer what they know. It overlaps with how close someone is to an event. A credible news story includes plenty of facts, quotes from experts, survey data, and official statistics. For example, detailed or consistent eyewitness accounts from people on the scene. In the video that you have watched, did you have experts? Did we see survey data or official statistics or even eyewitness? The last is examine the images. Not all images that you see are real. Some of them are fake but looked real due to the modern editing software. On another point, images can also be 100% accurate but used in the wrong context. For example, Photos of litter conveying a beach could be from a different beach or from 10 years ago, not the recent alleged event. I hope that you have a clear idea how to determine the truthfulness of what you watch or listen to. Now, kindly get your module and turn to page 9. Study the graphic text. I will also flash it on the screen. I have here three questions for you to answer. Number one, which has the highest percentage in the COVID-19 summary? A, deaths, B, recoveries, C, active cases. Well done. The correct answer is letter B, recoveries. Let us now go to number two. What is true about the COVID-19 cases summary? Letter A, death cases have the least number of percentage. Letter B, there are more active cases than recoveries. Letter C, the percentage of deaths is higher than active cases. Good job, everybody. The correct answer is letter A. Death cases have the least number of percentage. And for our last number, what makes the information relevant? A. It is about the past. B. It requires a solution. And letter C, it directly affects people's lives. You got it right again. The correct answer is letter C. It directly affects people's lives. Now, you may continue answering activity two. Great work, everybody. Now, you can proceed answering Activity 3, 4, and of course, the generalization activity on Activity 5. Then, do not forget to answer the assessment part. Thank you so much for learning with me. I pray also that you will be truthful in answering your module, your summative test, and performance tasks. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Let us all pray more and pray harder 
for everybody's protection. God bless us all. Lahat tayo'y nagtatanong Sa bagong ikot ng mundo